Good evening and welcome back once again. So this week we are at home to Celta de Vigo. Hopefully you did watch the last match. If not, go and watch it. It was a, an away win at the Santiago Bernabeu. Brilliant performance. We actually went 1-0 down from a magnificent strike from Benzabit. World-class finish. But then we got straight back into it. There was two penalties in the game. We had one saved and we scored the other. It ended with... Castro absolutely smashing in a great goal and it was a brilliant pass from Martinelli as well. Brilliant goal to start the game from Real Madrid and from ourselves to end it. Probably one of the best matches I've played in this season in terms of entertainment. This is the team lineup we're going with today. Getting a lot of changes because there's three days between most of our matches at the moment. So we've got Mandanda in goal, Ogbonna and Balbuena, the two youngsters playing in centre-back roles. Dekshara coming at left-back. We're going to keep Emerson because he's on and up, but he does have some tired legs. Mariba, Cousins and Fabio Vieira in the centre. And we've got Mudra coming back in on the left, Castro up top and Bajer on the right. Great to be back home at our home stadium, La Rosaleda. Unfortunately, Martinelli again. I don't think he's played at home yet. Every, every game he's played, though, he's put in a great shift, great performance. He's got good ratings in both. I think he's been involved in goals in every single game as well. Mudrick's got a lot to do, so his place is on the line. He knows that. But we do rotate a lot, so... You know, none of these players are going to be frozen out or anything like that. They're going to get game time regardless. But they need to put in a shift. Um, put in a good performance. Nearly cross from Teixeira. Not bad, but it's kind of difficult to... For our team, we don't really have much threat. Aerial wise, apart from maybe Costner, who's obviously a defender, he comes up for the corners. I'm not going to be scoring too many goals via head. We did in the last match, funny enough, form a corner. It was uh, Perez that ended up scoring it. Oh, what a turn of finish from Castro! That cross, the chest and the turn. Brilliant stuff. Castro started it, got in the box. Difficult to take. What a finish that is. The control, the touch there and just calmly slotted away. Ruben Castro, he really just is a different player. Stats-wise, if you look at his overall, I think he's 72. And Xerxes, again, who could improve because he's still very young, is a 79. But they just feel... It feels like it should be the other way around. And that, that's not to disparage Xerxes, but Castro just feels like... way better than what his stats let on. Nice little ball there from Fabio Vieira. Mudrick. Oh, that was maybe heading towards the top corner. Just not quite far enough away. Maybe not enough power. But Mudrick could be in here. Nice block. Oh, Palni. No. Well, let's say he got the ball. We got two penalties in the last match. That's probably... Um, more than we get in a season sometimes. Emerson charging forward. And now Castro. Oh, just wide. He's definitely in the mood today, isn't he, Castro? Yeah, and if you are watching, I do um, upload shorts on YouTube as well. And on TikTok. I've just joined TikTok recently. By the time this video goes out, I'll have been on TikTok probably for a month or two. Um, but yeah, what I do is I, I, I've started going through like my matches on pairs and finding like good goals and um, sort of putting little videos together. You know, like 30 second video shorts. Anyway, here's Mudrick. Ah, oh, that's poor. 
but yeah uploading them i'm trying to upload every single day at about 8 p.m uh, uk time currently and it's not just pairs i've uploaded like a couple of resident evil 4 videos the original uh resident evil 4 the remakes coming up super hang on here's budget need to stop talking oh that's a free kick surely no I look like it should have been a free kick. But yeah, just like funny clips or little clips from uh, videos like Returnal. I did a show on uh, beating Frike, the first boss that you face. I've done some hole in ones that I got on PJ to a 2K23. Uh, Hitman, I've put some shorts on there. Obviously, pairs, like I say, lots of goals. It's going to be mainly pairs, but some other games as well. So go check it out. My TikTok is exactly the same as my YouTube channel name, which is Toon Gamer with a 2 at the start, rather than a T. And people do ask me how, how it's pronounced, because it's got a number at the start, but it's Toon Gamer. I um, don't know why I came up with that name, to be honest. Well, I do know why, but... Anyway, here's Castro. Now Vieira. Castro somehow finds it again. I wish that pass had have got through properly from Vieira. There's just lots of defenders in the way. Got the ball there, apparently. Not sure I'd hit, but... Castro. Now Vieira again. What a ball that is from... How did Pichet not get that? That was such a great ball. I've got to be... Got to be patient with some of the youngsters, like the proper youngsters, you know, the 16, 17, 8 year olds. But I do feel like Bajer is kind of falling a bit behind from the rest of our squad. Here's Castro. Now Vieira. Bajer loses out, but he gets it back. Castro. 2 0. And Bajer gets an assist. I really do love Bajer. And maybe I've got a bit of a soft, soft spot for him because he's one of the first players that I, I brought through the youth ranks um, in the very first season, very early on. And like I say, overall wise, as in his stats, he's, not, he's certainly one of our lower players in the squad. But he's I've had some great games with him. He's got a great partnership when Perez plays. Him and Perez, if Perez plays up top um, and Bajer plays on that right-hand side. But I do feel he's left a little bit wanting sometimes. That's a foul, isn't it? Again, I don't get the free kick. He got taken off the ball and the defender didn't get the ball. There it is, half time. Ruben Castro on a hat trick now. Well, somehow we have the less of the possession, which doesn't happen too often, but pretty clinical. Five shots, four on target, and two goals. And I've said it before, and I say it many times whether it's pairs or whether it's real life, possession doesn't really mean a lot in itself. It's what you do with the ball. Now, obviously, if you've got possession, that's great. It can lead to. Well, I don't know if it does in pairs, but. In sort of real football, it can often lead to the opposition getting tired more because they're chasing after the ball. You obviously then got control of the ball more. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win more matches just because you've got better possession. It really doesn't. Ruben Castro through here. There's not really any support. Now, try to play it through to Mariba, but that was a very difficult pass. That'd be inch perfect. Get it back though. Here's Castro again. Now Mudrick. Oh, Mudrick just dwelling on the ball. I was just trying to delay my pass a little bit. Delayed just slightly too long. Good tackle though. From Mariba. Cousins haven't seen him too much in the game. That's a poor ball from Mudrick. so lucky the defender there that was a great pass and it's just hit the defender on the shoulder okay, 
just trying to find some space. There's not a lot going. Ah, just played behind Marie, but he's tech share though. Ah, straight in the keeper's arms. Yeah, once you get to that stage where the defence are pretty much back in place and they had like, you know, like pretty much the whole squad behind the ball. Um it's difficult to pick your way through. I'm trying to thread the needle, but Oh nice ball. Castro Ooh, nice little flick, but didn't quite come off. We'll look to make some subs soon when we get a chance. That's a terrible pass. Might not be able to make any subs at this rate. Again, Mudrik, not a good pass. Oh, and it's going to go off now. And I am going to bring on Harrington for Mudrik and I'll cast for Bouget, just to give him a rest. I thought about making another sub, maybe Vieira or, or Ruben Castro, but there's only 20 minutes left, and I kind of want to keep those uh, those guys on. Especially with... Um, Castro, I can think of his name there. Castro being on a hat-trick. And the players I could have brought on for Vieira, I, I kind of want to rest them for the next match anyway, so... That's my decision. That's a poor ball. Nice ball into Vieira. Oh, straight at the keeper, basically. Lovely play, but the finish was just lacking. They get very lucky there. It just seems to deflect off a few players. Well covered by Dick Sherrett. Now Emerson, he's looking pretty uh, decent at the moment. Oh, lovely play. Vieira. Oh, should have scored, but this was a this was a good save this time. There's a little bit more placed in the corner, but I mean Vieira is on some very tired legs. And we're unlucky we didn't get the throw because it just sort of clipped our player on the way through to going out. Nice play there. I need a little bit more support. Like sure perhaps you flying in there, glad I didn't make contact. Would have been a certain yellow card, I'm sure. What's Emerson doing there? How didn't Emerson Am I gonna get lucky and get a goal kick? I do. I don't know how Emerson didn't cover that. He seemed to have run the wrong way. Again, it's the AI doing weird things. Here's our gas. Not sure he's touched the ball too much since he's come on. It's Vieira. Now Emerson. Castro. Tame effort. And that is not like him. He only smashes them in. Or well, if he does place them, we're still with a bit of power, but they're curled in. That was just fairly tame. We tackled them about three times then, they've still got the ball. And there it is, full time. Somehow we didn't top up that goal uh, from the first half, but still a really good performance. And Castro on fire again. Yep, and we had just 
the less of the possession there. Celta de Vigo, no shots on goal whatsoever, and that's the main difference. And Ruben Castro, without doubt, man of the match. Clearly, he was the, the best player on the pitch. Got the two goals as well, but all round, he just looks a threat. Got a link-up play. Vieira thought he deserved probably better than that. But yeah, getting a seven, that's good to see. And Mudrik looked pretty dangerous in the sort of first 20 minutes and then tailed off maybe a little bit towards the end of the second half there. That's it for today, guys. The next time we're playing is against Real Sociedad away. Again, it's only three days away, so some tired legs. And then it looks like we've got about a week's break. So finally, a bit of respite. And if you can, I would appreciate it. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to the channel. But I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.